Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this nice simple linear equations? We have x plus 2 equals x. And let's solve this. Graphically, there are two sides here. We have x plus 2 and here is x. Suppose I let, if I let y1 equals this side which is x plus 2. And we have the other one which is y2 equals x. So these two equations, they are equation of a straight line. Hence, when we consider the equation of a straight line, we have y equals mx plus c. As we have our m here, which is the gradient, and we have C here, which is the intercept. So by try and relate it with equation 1, comparing this equation 1 with this, y1 equals x plus 2. That is the coefficient of this one, it becomes m. Therefore, in this first equation, we are going to have m here equals 1. And where we have C here equals 2 which is the slope. Then, when we proceed for the other equation here, and when m equals to 1 and c here equals to 2, it shows that at a point, here we are going to have, if x equals to 0, definitely our y1 will be equals to 2. That is, both of them as the coordinate of 0, 2. Two. And for the other equation here as y equals to x, for y equal to x, this also shows that m here equals to 1 and uh, there is no slope, it means c equals to 0. If c equals to 0, then we are going to have the coordinate of this at x equals to 0, therefore y also equals to 0. For the coordinate, we have 0, 0. Therefore, the graphical method of this, suppose we have a line like this. If the is central, as we have this as y axis, this is x axis. So for the first one, we have 0, 2, and the second one, we have 0, 0. So if this one is 0, and suppose I take this as 1, SADS is 2. Therefore, when we try and um, look at this point, this is 1 for the first one. At x equals to 0, y will be equals to 2. So we have this line like this for y1. And also, if your x equals to 0, we will also have y equals to 0. So this 2 is at this point. And let's try and look at this. We have... For the second one, which is at this point, this one is at this point. That is, this equation are parallel. And when equation are parallel, it means there is no solution. So there is no solution for this type of equation. So this is how we solve this one graphically. And we can still solve it uh, algebraically as well and look that look at it as there is no any form of solution to this problem. Algebraically method of solving this, let's say we have solution from here. We are given x plus 2 equals x. Let's say we take the square of both sides. And by expanding x plus 2 squared, we are going to have this as x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals x squared. And if I subtract x squared from both sides, let's say we have x squared minus x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals x squared minus x squared. So x squared cancels x squared here, and x squared also cancels x squared. Here we have 4x plus 4 equals 0. Then let's subtract minus 4 from both sides. So we are going to have subtract 4 from both sides. We have 4x plus 4 minus 4 
equals 0 minus 4. Then this 4 cancelled 4. And when 4 cancelled 4, we are going to have 4x equals minus 4. Then dividing both sides by 4 here. As we have this cancelled, therefore x here equals minus 1. To someone, if you find the x equals to minus 1, we cannot just stop here. We can put a stop, no stop. We have to consider if this equals and check. So by checking, we have x plus 2 equals x. Then we are going to substitute x equals minus 1 as minus 1 plus 2 equals minus 1. So minus 1 plus 2 equals 1 and this equals minus 1. But to this, 1 is not equals minus 1. So we show that there is no solution. There is no solution to this problem. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next class. Bye-bye.